Welcome back to Top Solid. In this video, we're going to now lay out four more work origins. To begin with, though, I'm going to start by creating some WCSs or some frames in Top Solid. Prior to doing that, I'm going to go ahead and dock this back at home, and I'm just going to do it by double clicking on its origin. And then I'm going to switch back to preparation stage. Because in my opinion, this is the best place to do your framework, either in the preparation stage or all the way back at the modeling stage. This means that these frames historically will be available to everything moving forward in the software. Just as a reminder, Top Solid is a parametric software. Everything in history starts at the bottom and moves up in our trees. Okay, So if you need a frame to be usable for something in history that's later on, just make sure you make it early enough. That's why I go to the preparation stage. Now, in here what I'm going to do is go to the construction tab, and I'm going to come right here, and I'm just going to choose frame by point in two directions. My origin point is going to be this front edge of the model. Okay. My x direction is going to be that. My z direction is going to be that. Perfect. And I'm going to make sure my check mark is vertical there, and go. And I'm going to do this around the model a bunch of times. So I'm going to go to this edge, x direction is here, z direction is there. Perfect. Do it again. There. X, z. Now, over here, I don't have an edge floating in space, so i got to be a little bit more creative. So my origin point is going to be a middle point or a midpoint between this point and this point. And this is just to show you different ways of making things. And I want my x in this case going, yeah, that way, why not? And then we want our z going this way. Perfect. So x is all pointing to the right. Looks good. I like it. My frames are done. I'm going to now switch back to my machining stage. Now, here, I'm going to go to my Operation tab next. And in here, I have something called Origins. And I'm going to just start creating origins. So this is 54.1 P1. I'm going to select this one. Its origin point is going to be the frame itself. And this is going to be 54.1 P2 or P200 or whatever you want. And to make things a little bit faster, I'm going to highlight the first, hit Control-C to copy it. I'm also going to say this is on the KME C1, and that's super important that you do this. This is relative to that rotary axis. Done. I'm going to go to this one next. Again, use the same thing as its origin point. This is going to be 3, part of the KME holder. Then this one, also going to be that frame. That's going to be 4, also part of that holder. And then the last one over here, and again, you can have as many of these as you need. And that's going to be 5. Now, one of the last things I want to point out about this, my origin points, I just have them floating right here. You can put these wherever you want. All you have to do is right-click on them and edit. And if you don't want the origin point right there, click in here and go pick on the center of that, if that's where you want the point to be. Okay, it's up to you where you want the point to be. Just make sure you create the appropriate frame for an origin. Okay, now from here, what we're going to do is we're going to associate these tool paths to the correct origins. Now, the easiest way to do this, in my opinion, is to go to the WCS and Origins Manager. Okay, now when that window pops up, you'll notice in here that we have a bunch of WCSs on our main origin 54.1 p1 okay there's that one there's this one this one this one and these are all the different rotations so what i'm going to do is i'm going to look for things i'm going to go here and say okay well we have something here what is this this is that facing that should be on that origin so i'm going to minimize that i'm going to go to this one and here this facing this facing should be part of p5 so all i'm going to do is drag this down to p5 done Minimize that. This next one, this one here, this should be part of P2. So I'm going to drag this down to P2. And I'm going to go here. This one here should be part of uh, P3, I believe. So we're going to put that down to P3. And the last one 
we're going to move on down to P4. Okay? So now everything has its own origin, which is really cool. 54.1, P1, P2, P3, and so on. I'm going to green check mark. Of course, the tool paths need to recalculate because they have a new origin point. And now we have everything set up the way we want. Now the only thing left to do is create toolpath, which we'll pick up in the next video.